All right, so for this one, I grew a little, a little bit of facial hair here, huh? You can see it, right? Right? Really, seriously, it's there. See, it's right there. It's what we call a five o'clock shadow. Only, in my case, it's more like a five-day shadow. Welcome, everyone, to The Vagabond Tales, episode number five, or part two. You see, in the first four episodes, I covered my time in the Philippines. And now, we get to go to Hong Kong, which is an amazing city. It's full of culture and lights and people and things. And it was just incredibly overwhelming, but in the best possible way. What's so amazing about Hong Kong and so many other multinational cities is that people who come from different places bring their own slice of culture, but rather than adapt to Hong Kong, and adapt to its ways, there's a synergistic relationship. I really hope that you guys enjoy this, so please, check it out. Enjoy. Ah, Hong Kong. A city once under control by the British, it was given back to China in 1997 as a special administrative region, which means that the city still keeps its own currency, government, and that I don't need a travel visa to come here. Go SARs! A city of contrasts, you're just as likely to find businessmen and shopping malls as you are to find fresh fruit on the street corner and the elderly practicing Tai Chi in the park. The old and new come together in a beautiful dance that transcends East and West. Since I knew nothing of Hong Kong, I needed a guide, but who would be willing to show a first-time loudmouthed American around? Meet Eric, a native of Brazil. He currently teaches English here in HK. Try and wrap your brain around that one. His first idea? In exchange for being my amazing cameraman, Eric wanted to introduce me to a food that sounds even crazier than balut. I'm gonna try smelly tofu. The name just really makes my mouth water. Also known as stinky tofu, it's a snack that traditionally involves putting the tofu in a vat of fermented milk, vegetables, and meat, sometimes for several months. Oh goody. So? That was okay. You gotta get past the smell and it's actually not that bad. Hear that, Andrew Zimmern? I'll try the things that you won't. So, uh, where's that guest spot? Having eaten my fill, Eric suggested that I change for a colder climate and check out a symphony of lights. A free light show where the city comes alive every night of the year. The best vantage point for this is on the Avenue of Stars. It's after seeing this event that I was beginning to understand Hong Kong isn't just a city. It's a concentrated melting pot of culture, customs, and people that come and live together, and where home doesn't feel quite so far away. Hong Kong is probably one of the coolest places to meet people from all over the world, and even people from your own country, sometimes even your own backyard. I've lived in Boston for the past, or around the Boston area for the past 12 years. Just ran into a couple people from New York, family from Indiana. It's a small world after all. So, I know this is a 10,000 Buddhist, but does that include the 10,000 steps too? Because, <laughs> my god. More than 10,000 steps. More than 10,000 steps? Oh, goody. 